Well, we've got the answer, and it's uh, pretty much channeling what you had to say, Craig. Kevin De Bruyne says, if the standard we want to reach is the best, but we're no longer good enough to get to that level, then you have to give everything. I can accept that we're not as good as in 2018, but other things are unacceptable. Yeah, I think it was pretty obvious watching the game and watching the Euros uh, in particular, where Belgium were not very good, that he was going to cut a frustrated figure very quickly because he's such an elite level player. And unfortunately, you know, he's got Lukaku still there who didn't play yesterday, but he's, he's, uh, he's on the way and let's not, let's not beat about the bush about that. It's not the Lukaku of five or six years ago. And in some sense, you look at this frustration that's going to come his way and you've got to give Lionel Messi even more credit because he must have had the same up until that World Cup win where the Argentinian squad was limited, workmanlike but limited and yet he continued to turn up and, and somehow in the end <laughs> they got the job done. I'm not suggesting Belgium are going to win the World Cup but I'm saying the Argentinian squad was not the most talented. It was not. Right, that, that we've ever seen. It had a very good shape, had a good coach in there, and Messi did his bit, and it, all the sums of the party, it all worked. It all worked. But, but he's going to have to deal with this in a team that's not going to compete. It's just not. And I, 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 I'm not going to say he'll chuck it in terms of not playing for Belgium, but I think one or two of them might look at it and go, do you know what, if I want to prolong my Man City career wherever it is, mm. I might have to have a look at this because it's time for a new guard to come in. And as I say, the frustration in my, for me, De Bruyne, watching him yesterday, I'm not surprised he said this. He, he not only said that, but he started criticising the way they played and how they were set up. I mean, that, that's, mm. you know, when you're a player, just play, you know, get on the field and do, do what you do. And if unfortunately the rest of the players around you aren't up to your standard, then you try and help them and you give every single thing you've got. Which is exactly what happened with Argentina. That's what Messi... You didn't hear Messi complaining about how, how the back line are, are too deep and we've got too many defenders. And You, you can't be saying that when you're a player. And that, that to me is just the start of, of somebody who's not happy. And I'm with Craig big time. I think he's probably better off. Mm -hmm. When you start, a player of his quality and his standing in Belgium, when he starts criticising the rest of the team and basically his manager, I think it's time to, to move on. You know, Craig's talking about that Argentina team, and I love that you brought them up because what he's talking about is mentality, how sometimes the talent alone won't get you by. That Argentina team maybe not had the talent, but they had the mentality. Yep. 2014 World Cup, they lost it. But then they went 15, 16 Copa America finals, 18 World Cup didn't go well, went back to another Copa America, finally won it. World Cup 2022, they won it. And now you see another Copa America. There's a mentality that goes into that group. I saw this team, the Golden Generation, their best year was 2018, fold in 2022, playing against Canada in the World Cup. Mm. Get smashed in the mouth and won circumstantially. Alfonso Davies missing a penalty kick to see what they did in this Euros, and I'm not surprised. You can be as talented as you want, but if you don't bring at least the effort and the mentality, it doesn't matter. Maybe Kevin De Bruyne will just say, though, do you know what, I just, I just so much want to play in another World Cup in America, you know, that, yeah. that, that maybe that's the thing. I think if there was nothing on the horizon, he, he would, I think he would just go, do you know what, prolonging my club career here. The 2026 World yeah. Cup, obviously two years away, it's a big thing for a player to play in a World Cup, but he's going to cut a frustrated figure from now until then and then during that World Cup. And, you know, this manager, he came out in Tedesco and said, well, I'm, I'm OK with Kevin De Bruyne criticising Dan whatever I've done uh, in this game uh, because he's got no choice because he's already buried yeah. and had this horrendous relationship with the best keeper in the world, Thibaut Courtois, and... So he can't come out and, and, and sort of defend himself and play the old strong arm tactics against Kevin De Bruyne because he hasn't got a lot left. Yeah. He, just hadn't, he just does not have a lot left. Mario. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, when I watch Kevin also, I think what's, what is the hardest part for Kevin is coming from City. You know, when you play in a team where you with Pep, Pep is very detailed, eh? he looks at all the little mistakes and tries to open things up. Even sometimes you, there is nothing, he will find it. Now, you go to a Belgium side, of course, it's also closer because it's close to my country, so they highlight that too. 
is that you see certain mistakes and you see certain things happen. And I think uh, uh, Kevin let the emotions drive. His emotions were driving too far. I saw him coming off the bench. He either said to the, to, um, the person that was walking with him, we, we could see that in the shot, him saying, either I want to stop or this has to stop. So it's two lines because you couldn't understand what he was saying, but you could see, I can see the mouth, maybe because it's either French or Belgian, and Belgium is similar to Dutch. So those two languages, and for me it was like, I think the emotion was driving too much and you have to be careful because when you are that talent and that good, I think you also have to sometimes question yourself and say like, I just, I am here just to implement my quality and play well. And I'm not here, you understand, to, because attacking them, it won't help them. The only thing will help is him, because I thought he was more quieter, but now when he exploded, I was like, wow, he let us every, every tactical uh, attribute of his country, he let us know. And I think with that one, it was a little bit sensitive. I have to be careful with that one. But he's been, you know, now and again he is, outspoken. <clears throat> I mean, he's been outspoken against UEFA and FIFA about the amount of games that players uh, have been subjected to. He's been quite, you know, out, up front about that. It doesn't, you don't hear from him often, but when you do, no. you, sort, you sort of sit up and go, yeah, I get that. So I think he has. Yeah. <laughs> I think he keeps he's getting, it. He's getting older as well, though. You tend to do that the, the older you get and... When you start hitting the 30 or you start mm. thinking about things more, you know, before you hit that 30, all you're concerned about is playing. The only thing you want to do is make sure you fit, make sure you do your stuff. You want to do this, blah, blah. It's all about the, it's all about the game. You know, when you pass that 30 mark, you start thinking about things a lot more. And he's, he's overthinking it. That's now, what he's doing. And I think the, the, the disappointment for him, I, I would imagine, as it was for a bunch of players we talked about yesterday, all these great golden generation, they called it this... And there was a lot, a lot of good players they had. It was not just that he's in this scenario now and there's some good players, but there's not enough for Belgium, is that they screwed it up. They really, they had that. And he'll be, he'll be feeling that, that he knows, because they're not stupid, he knows, they had their opportunity. It's difficult to win it, of course it is. But they had their opportunity to be way better than they were and they blew it. They blew it under Roberto Martinez. Uh, they blew it under Mark Vilmots, who was hopeless uh, in France. And now that opportunity's gone. And as a player, you just it, it won't come back. As Stevie said, you're in your 30s, the squad mm. is now weaker, the talent level, the talent pool is not the same, and that opportunity for your country is gone. And for, for a player, that's a difficult pill to swallow.